We'll just keep rotating, okay? Go ahead, Al. John? Uh, Coach said that I, I guess you banged your knee. I guess what happened, and I guess how do you feel at this point? Um, yeah, I moved my knee against Marquette. Um, I'm feeling 100% now, I'm ready to go tomorrow. Hey, Al, watching you play with Southern Stampede and down there at Bergmar, you played corner, you played off guard, you, you were almost like a Swiss Army knight. Um, what's it like now that you're going to be kind of playing some more point guard? How ready do you feel? How comfortable do you feel? And how much does your experience, even going back to high school and AAU, just kind of help you in situations? Um, you know, I'm used to it. I'm used to playing different positions, and I feel very comfortable in any position I put in. I feel like I can do a lot of things to contribute and help the team no matter where it's at on the floor. So, I mean, I feel like I've been prepared to, you know, play different positions, but at this point, off, off the ball, I've just practiced it. Kept at it every day, and now I'm here, and I'm confident in what I can do, and going forward. Do you have a preference, or are you just sort of like, hey, whatever is needed, I'm okay with it? I mean, whatever is needed, I'm there. No matter where you put me, I can do whatever you need. Asking about Armand, a guy who maybe is having to step into more of a point guard role than probably he's played, you know, kind of at different times. Just how have you seen him embrace that, and is that something you've tried to help him with? Again, as somebody who has played, really kind of all types of guard positions. Um, my mom's been doing a great job. He's had to step up, like you said, do the things that's happening with the team. So he's been taking it, and he's been learning like every other freshman. But he's been doing a great job, and he's, I've been trying to help him along the way, give him tips and pointers, you know, here and there. So, but other than that, he's been doing a very great job, and I'm proud of Armand. Armand, I asked uh, Coach Miller, uh, about what uh, year three in October was like compared to year two and year one, and uh, wanted to get your thoughts on the same thing. So how different has this year, this year been in preparing for a season compared to the first two? Um, I feel like we've upped, it, we've upped it up a notch. I feel like it's just, you know, a different vibe. I feel like everybody's like on the same page. It just feels different. It's just a lot of different energy, I feel like, here. And I feel like we're ready to go to, go to war for each other. So, I mean, I feel like we've been prepared by coach and the staff, and I can't wait to get started, really. Now, injuries are not exclusive to any team. Uh, it happens a lot. But when you guys have gone through that last year and this year, how difficult is it for you guys to get into a rhythm, especially early on when you're trying to get the season started? How difficult is that? Um, I mean, we've all been healthy at one point. We've been on the floor together, so we kind of gotten, like, a niche going with all of us together, you know. Injuries happen to everyone. So it's just been, everybody has to step up. Everybody has to turn it up a notch now that we are short on a couple guys. So I mean, we've all learned, we've all helped each other, learned different positions, learned different things in the offense, defense. So I mean, those guys missing is most definitely, uh, you know, a big part of our team, but everybody has to step up, everybody has to do the job, everybody has to go out there and play. Al, the depth on this team, you know, the injuries notwithstanding, um, just how has that helped in terms of, you know, guys pushing each other in practice, and how do you think the different combinations uh, on the floor uh, during the course of the season could be useful? Um, you know, different combinations, like you said. Um, we probably can't be predictable. We have a bunch of combinations that work and go together, so the competition is up. We are, we've been going at it for, what, a couple months now, so I mean, those different combinations, the competition we have with each other in practice, going at each other, I feel like it's just not, didn't, done nothing but made us better. And I feel like it'll help us in the long run, for sure. Uh, with Armand having to play a lot of the point, uh, on the sideline a little bit, have you tried to give him, him advice, or how much are you guys helping him out, trying to figure out the oh, Yeah, most, most definitely. Whatever he needs help with, or the little things that I see with him, like pushing the ball, or like, he could have done, done this other than that. It's just like little things with him. But he's most definitely got it down packed, I feel like. And most definitely I'll help him with whatever he needs. And I'll try to give him pointers here and there. Not too much to overbear him, but just little things that I see to help him um, uplift his game, really. Uh, Al, can I go back to something you just talked about? When you're playing with different lineups and different combinations on the court, what are the challenges with some of the different ones that you guys have gone through so far in terms of adapting to maybe going smaller or bigger or something like that? Well, challenges, you know, everybody hasn't played Division One basketball. I mean, everyone hasn't played their first official game, so you got to teach them, like, the little things, like, here and there about the competition and what to do here or, 
defensive assignments. So it's just like we are trying to like learn. I feel like learn each other and help implement our defense and offense. So we're just teaching. It's just teaching moments, and I feel like everybody has, you know, hit the learning curve with great effort, great they're listening. I mean, everybody's learning. So I feel like we've done a great job with that, and I feel like everybody's on the same page right now, and everybody has it. talk about trying to help Marlon with things but not overload him. I mean, what's the balance you can strike with him specifically in terms of being able to teach him, offer him advice, but not wanting it to be so complex that you feel like he just kind of gets flooded with it? I mean, yeah, he's a freshman, so, you know, he's learning you know, like everyone else. So I try to, you know, keep it, like, balanced with, like, little things, like, you know, you got to be able to do this if this gets cut off or if this option is not open, you have this option. So I feel like I just, you know, give him the little things because I feel like he doesn't need to be overloaded with information. He knows what to do. He's a great basketball player. He has a great IQ. So I just give him the little pointers and let his game be his game. Well, Archie has mentioned that one of his goals is for you guys to become an outstanding defensive team. Give me maybe three things you think you guys need to do real well over the course of the season to reach that goal. Um, well, definitely have to rebound, be able to guard, one-on-one, -on -one, got our man one-on-one, -on -one, rebound, and defending the big and roll. I feel like we'll be fine, most definitely. Um, those three things, and bringing the grip, aggressive and toughness. Most definitely toughness, rebound, and being able to guard one-on-one. All right, bud, thanks. Thank you. Okay, from here on out, we'll probably be